Hey, so today we're going to do a teardown and disassembly and show the workings of a taxi meter today. One of the old mechanical ones. Tea's gone cold. Now on to the Argo. <clears throat> this one's a little bit newer, so I'm not overly sure what I'm going to find here. It's got two mechanical import inputs, but it's also got the six pin in the back. I don't hear anything. Uh, the extra button works. Uh, this one is made in Germany. It's another European one. What a weird setup. Why would you have two inputs for the for a single gear to move a little blade? This one's got a little more going on here. It's got a six pin connector here. And then the harness looks split between a ground, a power, and the other four going to these four leads up here which are going to this rudimentary circuit board there. <clears throat> These three pins coming off the board here from this. If you can see that. And I wonder if that's the roof light control or not. Really not sure. Then you have this one up here going nowhere. Maybe a ground. Oh no, sorry. In here there's two little light bulbs. So that's for the power for the lights for a backlight. And I'll take this front plate off and be good to go. These are all plastic rollers, and those were, I believe, well, they could be all brass or metal at the very least. Everything's a lot smaller, and that's important to have, because that's the piece that slides in here. Uh, let's see if it works, or see if I can make it work anyway. It should be hired. Rate one. Okay. Now it works. No, it looks like it works. Then, doing this should reset it. Hmm, another box 30, which is the flag. And that's the Argo. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, post them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.